This segment of the Pasture Soil Health Project video series will introduce the work of Tom Ulrich at High Ridge Farm in Washington County, Pennsylvania. Tom and his brother use most of the farm's 110 acres for hay, but 16.6 .6 acres, including previously strip mined land, are fenced into paddocks to graze approximately 20 to 25 Hereford steers. We grew up on this farm. Originally, we were uh, milk and dairy cows with my father, and then we transitioned over to a beef operation. We've been grazing for almost 14 years uh, with rotational grazing. Uh, this was always pasture when we milked cows, but it was just one giant pasture. When we decided to switch to a grazing operation, uh, it was when myself and my brother were going to college. Uh, we decided that it would be easier and less maintenance to switch to a grazing operation. Transitioning to a rotational grazing system allowed Tom and his brother to utilize a two-week rotation while away at school. And today, the six to seven day rotation allows for greater flexibility in maintaining off-farm employment. Current challenges are being met through spring developments, access roads, and a manure stacking pad. Uh, spring developments, so we're trying to uh, access more water for the cows so they don't have to walk as far. Uh, we have some wet spots in our pastures that we're trying to dry up or at least develop that water for drinking for the animals. Uh, and then the alleyway that we're looking at putting in is for winter application. Uh, for We water them outside on the springs, so that's going to help improve the soil and just the, um, reduce the mud. In addition to the flexibility that rotational grazing provides, Tom also sees a benefit through increased yield. Over the next three years, Tom will continue to monitor the health of the soil in his pastures and consult with advisors to make changes that benefit his acreage. Uh, we, we were able to harvest some hay off of the fields, but I think continually uh, clipping pastures and managing the grasses, the soil health has improved. Since I, I've been around, um, kind of just letting nature take its course, I think if you can have healthy soil, uh, you know, you're going to get the yields in your crop that you need. Uh, I think the big thing to take away is, is learning and then finding out what works for you because there's not a, a boilerplate design. So I think that's one thing that we continually look at is what can we do to improve our, our operation. We will return and meet with Tom again to see how he's progressing toward his goals. For now, thank you for watching. Please visit the Capital RC&D webpage to learn more about the Pasture Soil Health Project and to discover all that is taking place at participating farms.